All right, we are here with Paul and Jenny, uh, executive producer and uh, showrunner, right, for Welcome to Flatch. Uh, so this is exciting. You guys are here at South by Southwest to promote this new show on Fox. Uh, talk to me about what really sets this show apart. It, the one thing I took away from that panel discussion was that this is different. This is a different kind of endeavor for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a very lovely, fun show. Uh, we would like to call it comfort food, you know, because it's very, it's very, very funny, but also you just kind of settle in with these characters and into this small town that it takes place in. Yeah, and, and tell me about kind of that concept. This, like, you know, you're in a small town, you have these people kind of trying to get by. Where did this all come from? Well, it started as a BBC show called This Country uh, that uh, Paul was kind enough to bring to me and we worked together on. So it started from there, and what we wanted to do was bring that feel of small town characters working together, but a very character-driven comedy. So not something that's got big pranks or big, you know, it's all quite small and real, and hopefully it'll make people recognize themselves in some ways in these characters, even though our characters are a little stranger maybe, a little more <laughs> odd. Um, hopefully you'll still look at it and say, yeah, that seems like my neighbor. Yeah. So when you have these kind of, you know, strange oddball characters, did that make casting harder and easier? I mean, when we just talked about people like Sam and Chelsea. Question. I mean, in a way, it was easier because we knew exactly what we needed, yeah. but it was incredibly hard because there was only going to be one or two people who could play each of the parts. It was but, not... Yeah. Well, it also makes it very fun yeah. because you really get to, you know, characters that for other shows you'd be like, oh, they're too strange or whatever. This you go like, okay, they're great. <laughs> so, you know, it, but everyone on the show is such a talented comedy performer that it's a real deep bench. Talk to me about, uh, you talk about the challenges of COVID. You guys really, this was kind of to like the nth degree, right? We were talking about like a two-year delay. What were the challenges and was there kind of a silver lining to all of it? I mean, the challenges are just, you're, we're doing everything masked up, we're being very safe and all that, but it does, you have to get through that wall of kind of, you know, as a director, I like to communicate with my face, and now yeah. I just have to do it all with my eyes, but, uh, but it also just kind of bonded us like a family more, because it really, we were like in the trenches together, and I think it, I don't, I think waiting to come on the way we are now, I think it's a good time for us to come on, so... And I think it did. It bonded all of us because we went through we went through it, and there was nothing to do except hang out with each other because we knew we were all safe. Yeah. So we we basically created our own family, uh, and it was I I look for it and I'm hopeful for a season two where we're not masked up yeah. and testing three times a week and all of that. It was a lot emotionally. I think it was a lot and for the actors to be able to be funny going through all that. Yeah. That. Yeah. How do you hope this kind of resonates with people across the country? I mean, we're talking about here in Texas, a lot of people live in small towns. You guys shot on location in a couple of small towns in North Carolina, right? Yeah. Uh, how do you hope this kind of hits the audience? I think Jenny said it best. I think you're going to see yourself and your neighbors yeah. in, in this show. Um, you know, because the majority of the country is small towns. That's why we love America so much because of that. And, you know, we just wanted to be respectful to that, but also portray sort of the weirder people in your town, who you love, who are yeah. truly wonderful, but they're also, you know, a handful. Yeah. I do think that there is an art to living in a small, I think it's harder to live in a small town than a big city, because you can't get away with anything, and you're forced to get along, and I think that that's all something our country could work towards more, so my hope is people watching this show will think about that and, and try to come together a little more. Talk to, me, talk to me about how people can watch the show. Um, I mean, obviously, they can watch it traditionally. It premieres uh, this month, right, on Fox, on Fox 7 Austin. Uh, but they can also binge it a little bit, right? Tell me about that. Yeah, it's a very exciting. And this hasn't been done in network TV before, which is the night that we premiere, the March 17th, uh, 9.30, <laughs> on Fox, exactly. Um, <laughs> you can then go to Hulu and binge the first seven episodes if you want to just catch up on them right away. And then at the same time, they'll be airing you know, weekly after that. And then after the first seven, then there's seven more, 14 episodes in total, and you'll be in love with them by the time. And I just want to ask you, I mean, obviously you just wrapped up this panel discussion here. What was that like? What was it like being, I understand you've been here before, but like, what was it like being here uh, at South By, kind of the, the big return after a couple of years? You know what, it's so exciting. Because, you know, and COVID aside, we've all been kind of locked up, right? And so to walk out and be able to talk about 
this show, to feel the energy, because it is a very specific energy, South By. Like, it has this kind of disruptive, colorful feel to it, which is great. And it kind of fits our show. So I, I, for me, it was so exciting to actually see faces, like to see people responding, because we've been so in our own world. So it, this is, couldn't be a more perfect place to bring the show and to bring the idea of what the show can be. Yeah, and I, I just think South By is the world's greatest festival because it's, it's entertainment, it's, it's music, it's art, it's you know, tech. It's so exciting, you know, because I love the, the Austin Film Festival too. I come to that also, but this just is such a full, you know, pastiche of everything that the world has to offer.